yo salí con ella o ay, yo salía con ella. Pues guys, uh, my name is Carl, bienvenido a mi canal. And I'm a Filipino who speaks Spanish. I've been speaking Spanish for two years. I use Spanish as a... As, I use Spanish on my job on daily basis and here I am I'm going to give you a tip uh, on when to use pretérito and when to use imperfecto because uh, as we all know and including me um, every Spanish learner did have a little challenge comprehending the difference between these two but here I am I'm going to give you a tip um, and that tip is the word used to in English uh, yes, used to. We use the word used to if we want to describe something in the past that's been done multiple times or continuously. Uh, for example, I used to, I used to dance, I used to talk to her. And with the example that I gave a while ago, uh, the school pa. And with the example that I gave a while ago, the, the preterito is yo sali con ella. Uh, it should be interpreted or translated as I dated her. While the second one is yo sali con ella is an imperfecto and should be translated or interpreted as I used to date her. As you can see, the second one, imperfecto, it has more elements of storytelling I want to describe it more. I'm giving more emotion to to that uh, this, to that action in the past or to that sentence. And as you can see, I I use imperfecto in that one. And yes, that's the tip that I'm going that I'm giving you. And that's it, guys. Uh, that's the keyword. Always remember the keyword I used to. Uh, and I hope it helps you because uh, it also helped me. I use that. Uh, I use. I always remember that whenever I'm, I'm trying to construct a sentence. And soon you will get used to it. Soon you will no longer need to remember it. You will just get used to it. You will just construct sentence based on your instinct. Yes. Uh, once you reach a specific level in in speaking any language, I think. Um, I think you will reach that point that it, it's just part of your, it's just part of, it's very muy fácil, no? No, no, I necessitate that para, para pensar. <laughs> pues así esto, hasta luego. Uh, muchísimas gracias por escucharme y ver mi tonterías. Si les gusten mis consejos o mis tips, uh, por favor, sígame. Hasta luego. Chao.